Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing looking at categorical logic fallacies, looking at the fallacy of illicit contraposition. As with our last fallacy, if you haven't checked out the actual act of contraposition, or you're not caught up with the categorical logic stuff that we have been working on, you may have a little trouble with this video, so I'd strongly advise you do that. Remember, contraposition works and is valid for A and O statements. Illicit contraposition is going to be when you try using contraposition on E or I statements. Let's take a look at some examples. So, contraposition, remember, is switching the subject and the predicate and exchanging them for their term complements. Remember, a term complement is taking S and getting non-S, taking horse and getting non-horse, taking key and getting non-key, and so on and so forth. So, this is going to be a fallacy for E statements, no SRP, we fill in our Venn diagram, looks like that. The contraposition of that is going to be no non-P or non-S. In this case, we would actually fill in all of the area around the Venn diagram, saying that there's nothing there, because basically what this is saying is there is nothing that is both not a P and not an S. It's clearly saying something very different from our original E statement, so it's an example of the fallacy of illicit contraposition. Also, this is a fallacy for I statements. That's some SRP. We fill in our Venn diagram as normal. The contraposition of that is some non-P or non-S. In this case, we would put the X actually outside the Venn diagram. It's basically saying that some things that are not P are also things that are not S. Clearly saying something very different from some things that are S are things that are P. So, it is once again a fallacy of illicit contraposition. That was illicit contraposition, also today is contraposition, yesterday was illicit conversion and normal conversion, tomorrow is going to be the existential fallacy for bool, and obversion, there's no illicit obversion because it works for all four kinds of statements. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Garnadies.org, and stay skeptical everybody.